Earth's methane emissions are rising, and we don't know why. And the minute I heard this, I thought of methane turning to formaldehyde. Remember a couple of years back, we had that methane explosion in California, and because of the heat and the light and everything together, it, they found that it was turning to formaldehyde. Of course, that is toxic for humans, plants, and everything. Formaldehyde. This is what we use as a preservative. Remember in the science laboratories, we used to have our frogs and our little cats and whatever that what they, we were uh, dissecting. That were, they were in formaldehyde. How terrible that, that smelled. And they told us to wear gloves so that we wouldn't get it into our skin. Well, yeah, it does turn into formaldehyde. The primary component of natural gas methane is itself a potent greenhouse gas. A recent study affiliated with UNIST unveiled a high-performance catalyst for methane conversion to formaldehyde. Turning methane into formaldehyde could be a big deal, etc., etc. But we're not going to that. It's just that that's just a terrible situation. Uh, this is uh, the uh, New Scientist recently, May 24th article, Earth's methane emissions are rising, and we don't know why. It's still a mystery. By Adam Vaughn, levels of a powerful greenhouse gas jumped again last year. It's continuing a surge in the past few years, and researchers still can't understand why. They can't explain this. Atmospheric concentrations of methane, climbing by 10.77 parts per million last year, the second highest annual increase in the past two decades, according to NOAA, provisional data released. Methane is a shorter-lived but much more powerful greenhouse than uh, gas than carbon dioxide, the amount finding its way from human and natural resources, which can include everything from oil and gas wells to wetlands, has been rising since 2007. The rate has accelerated in the past four years. Researchers warned earlier this year that if methane levels keep increasing at current rates, then the Paris Climate Deal's goals of limiting global warming to 2, 000, uh, to 2 degrees centigrade and pursuing efforts to keep it below 1.5 degrees centigrade would be very, very difficult to meet, of course. Yuan Nesbitt of Royal Holloway University of London says researchers are very worried about the latest rise. It could be that even it's more concerning is the fact that no one is entirely sure what is driving this, what is causing this trend. Quote, the disturbing aspect is we don't know which processes are responsible for methane increases as rapidly as it is. This is what Ed Luko Kenki of U.S.'s National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, said. Keith Shine at Reading University, that's in the UK, just a, an hour's train ride from London, the fact that grows, growth rates in the atmospheric concentrations of methane are approaching the levels we saw in the 1980s after a period of relatively slow growth is deeply concerning. The fact that we don't understand the reasons for the surge deepened that concern. One possibility is that a warmer world is causing more methane to be released from wetlands and in the tropic, fueling even more warming, and that would suggest a feedback loop is underway. He said, I'm not sure, but it looks as if the warming is feeding the warming, Nisbet said. More evidence is needed, of course, to prove his idea. So there is this huge methane surge. 2018 saw the second biggest increase in atmospheric methane levels this century. Rebecca Fisher of Royal Holloway University London says we still don't know whether the growth is primarily an increase in natural emissions, such as from warmer or wetter wetlands, or increased anthropogenic emissions such as rice, agriculture, or fossil fuels. It could also be a change in the atmospheric sinks of methane, or most likely a combination of reasons. Methane surge gains added significance to the fact researchers have been discovering in recent years that the gas has a more powerful warming effect than they thought previously. In the first report, the UN Climate Science Panel in 1990, 20 tons of methane, sorry, 21 tons of methane was considered to have the same global warming potential as one ton of carbon dioxide that was upgraded to 28 tons of methane 
in the most recent major report, and it could rise as high as 35 tons in the next big assessment, which is in 2022. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.